Do you want a sick Windows setup just like mine? In today's video, I'll show you how to completely transform your setup from a boring standard Windows look like this one right here into a stunning and minimalistic design like this. And the best part, it's completely free and you only need to install two apps to achieve this. If you look at the design, you can see that we changed the background to a clean and modern one. We also customized the taskbar icons, added a clock, a visualizer, and much more. But let's stop beating around the bush and jump right in. Let's start by uncluttering the home screen. Just right click anywhere on the wallpaper and open up the view tab. In here you want to just on toggle show desktop icons. Once you've done that, you don't have to look at a totally unorganized and cluttered screen anymore, which is quite nice for a change. In the next step, we are going to choose a wallpaper. I fired up my browser and searched for minimalistic wallpaper 4K to find the best option for this setup. As you can see, there are a lot of different options to choose from, but after some testing and searching, I found the perfect design. Right here we have it. I will put a link to it in the video description so that you don't have to search for it. On this page, simply click on the orange download button on the right. They will ask you to log in or add your email, but you can simply click on the X to proceed with the download. Once the download is finished, go into the explorer and open up the downloads folder. Now right click on the downloaded image and select set as desktop background. As you can see, the background alone completely changes the vibe of the setup. I have to say, I believe this is one of the best setups I've created so far. So stay tuned and don't miss a thing. In the following step, I'm going to show you how to adjust the color of your windows. Once again, start by right clicking anywhere on the wallpaper. In this window, now click on the personalize button. Once you're in the settings, go ahead and open up colors. In here, we can change quite a lot of things, but we only need the basics to make windows look great. First step is changing windows to dark mode because everything else is just wrong. For the accent color, we are going to select automatic so it can change the colors that they fit to the background picture. Now we are going to start with the first program we need for this customization. Open up your browser and search for Windhawk. On the results, click on the first page or just paste the link from the video description. Once you're on the official Windhawk page, it's really easy because you simply have to click on the big blue download button and execute the file once it's finished downloading. I won't bore you with the installation process of the app since it's pretty straightforward, just always accept and go to the next step. Once you're in the app, I want you to click on browse for mods. In this menu, you will find a lot of different customization tools, but we will start with the first one called Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. After clicking on details, this menu will pop up. Click on the blue install button and accept the risks afterwards. Don't worry about the warning, these apps are totally safe to use and have been tested thoroughly. If the installation is finished, you can go ahead and click on settings right here. Right here, open up themes to see all of the options. In this video, we will pick the translucent start menu because it fits the style the best. Now you just have to click on save settings and we are one step closer to a stunning Windows setup. But let's not waste any time and continue with the next mod. This one is called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. Go ahead and click on details. In here, once again, just click on install and accept the risks to download the mod. Go into settings to choose the theme. We are going to go with a design called bubbles in this mod and don't forget to click on save settings. Now for the last step in this app, we are going to search for it in the search bar at the top. Type in notification and you will find the right theme in no time. Click on the first design and once again just follow the installation process like with the two mods before. Now let's just take a quick glance at the design we've already achieved with only one app. The translucent start menu and notification center just look so much better than with the standard windows design. The taskbar also looks really great with those rounded logos, but from now on it's only gonna get even better. In this next step we are going to install Rainmeter. Search for Rainmeter in your browser or once again just click on the link in the video description. Once you're on the official Rainmeter page, click the big blue download button. After downloading, simply execute the file and click through the installation process. Now let's move on to the next step, the installation of JaxCore. Just like before, search for JaxCore in your browser or click on the link in the video description. On the page, the big orange download button is really hard to miss. Download it and then execute the file. For this installation, the console will open up. Wait for all of the commands to run through until it's asking you to confirm the installation. Just type Y and click enter to finish the installation. Now this window should have opened up. In the first step, click continue and in the second one, you want to choose hardware acceleration. Now in the next three steps, just click continue since there is no need for all of these things. Right here, scroll down and select modular clock as well as modular visualizer. Click on install and wait for it to finish. We will start with the configuration of the modular clock. When the setup is finished, you can open up the app and see this home screen. Go ahead and click on library in the bottom to get to the installed tools. In here, go ahead right into modular clocks and go into general on the left side of the screen. 
Right here you can choose between a variety of different styles but in this video we will focus on this one. After selecting this clock I want you to go into style options on the left side of the screen. Here make sure that the widget size is 1x and the clock font is centered. You also want to untoggle these two buttons down here, show date and show current weather. Also a really important step I tend to forget is activating the modular clock. For that simply go to the left side of the screen and click on activate. If we go to the home screen we can see that the clock is now activated. Right click on the clock and select the line and center that the time is in the middle of the screen. Now the first step in Jaxcore is already finished. But believe me, the next two steps will bring the whole setup to a new level. Let's continue with the overlayer tool. Go into the library and click on overlayer. Install the application by clicking on the green download button right here. Now just wait for the installation to finish. The next step is a little more complicated but I will guide you through it step by step. Open your explorer and go into the folder where the background picture we installed earlier is stored. Open it up and click on the edit button in the top left corner. In here, click on this tool right here so we can remove the background. As you can see, the tool almost perfectly detected the parts we don't need, but we will have to adjust it a little bit. Activate the background brush tool and select remove mask to delete the mask on the white lines and the human. Now go ahead and hold left click to use the eraser. Remove all of the parts as shown here in the video. If you are finished, you have to click on remove right here. After that, click on save options and save the picture as a copy. Now go back in the Jaxcore application and go into the general settings. Click on layering image and select the picture we just saved. Also activate the overlayer on the left side of the screen. If you go back to your home screen, you can really see that anything changed, right? But that's actually wanted like this because in the next step we will add in a visualizer behind the overlayer. Let's do the exact steps as before again. Go into the library and select modular visualizer. On the left side of the screen go into layout. As you can see we once again have a lot of different options but we will select this layout right here. Also go ahead and activate the modular visualizer in the top left corner. If we go back to the home screen we can only see these small lines right here. But we will have to play some music or a YouTube video so that we can actually see the visualizer. Now we can see the lines dancing to the music. Go ahead and drag it down a little by holding left click so that only the top of the visualizer can be seen. I personally have to say that this setup looks absolutely clean. It was surprisingly easy to achieve since we only needed two tools to get this result. The visualizer and the clock integrate seamlessly into the wallpaper, creating a smooth and modern look. The taskbar, as well as the start and notification menu also blend in perfectly, giving the entire desktop a sleek and polished appearance. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a like and a subscription to support the channel. That way you won't miss any future videos on custom setups, optimizations and cool PC tricks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.